Kuwait Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Sabah dies aged 91. Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah had ruled the oil rich Gulf state since 2006. Sheikh Sabah was dubbed the Dean of Arab Diplomacy. Kuwait's Emir, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, has died at the age of 91, state media report. He was expected to be succeeded by his 83 year old half brother and crown prince, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed. In July, Sheikh Sabah was flown to the United States for medical treatment following surgery for an unspecified condition in Kuwait. He had ruled the oil-rich Gulf Arab state since 2006 and had overseen its foreign policy for more than 50 years. He was dubbed the Dean of Arab Diplomacy for his efforts to restore relations with states that backed Iraq during the 1990-1991 Gulf War, when Kuwait was invaded by Iraqi forces. The emir also often acted as a mediator in regional disputes, including the ongoing diplomatic standoff between Saudi Arabia, its allies and Qatar. Kuwait also refrained from intervening in Syria's civil war, instead hosting several donor conferences for humanitarian aid. Sheikh Sabah came to power in January 2006, after Emir Sheikh Saad al Abdullah stepped down just nine days into his rule as parliament moved to depose him on health grounds. He had been Prime Minister under the previous Emir, Sheikh Jaber al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah, and for several years had been seen as the de facto ruler. Before then, he served as Foreign Minister from 1963 to 1991 and from 1992 to 2003. Kuwait, which has a population of 4.8 million, including 3.4 million foreigners, has the world's sixth largest known oil reserves and is a major US ally. It has been ruled by the Sabah family for the past 260 years. The Emir has the last say in political matters. He has the power to override or dissolve parliament and call elections. Kuwait's 91-year-old Emir Sabah al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah died on Tuesday in a hospital in the United States. With great sadness and sorrow, we mourn the death of Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah, Emir of the state of Kuwait said Sheikh Ali Jarrah al Sabah, the minister in charge of royal affairs, in a television broadcast. Born in 1929, Sheikh Sabah is widely regarded as the architect of modern Kuwait's foreign policy, having served as foreign minister for nearly 40 years between 1963 and 2003, when he became prime minister. He became Kuwait's emir in January 2006, after the death of Sheikh Jaber al Sabah. In August 2019, Kuwait acknowledged Sheikh Sabah suffered an unspecified medical setback that required he be admitted to hospital. In July 2020, he flew to the United States seeking medical attention after undergoing surgery. A U.S. Air Force C-17 flying hospital transported Sheikh Sabah from Kuwait to Rochester, Minnesota, home of the flagship campus of the Mayo Clinic. Valued discretion and moderation Sheikh Sabah drew on his decades as the oil-rich nation's top diplomat to push for closer ties to Iraq after the 1990 Gulf War and solutions to other regional crises. His 2006 ascension in Kuwait, a staunch U.S. ally since the American-led war that expelled occupying Iraqi troops, came after Parliament voted unanimously to oust his predecessor, the ailing Sheikh Saad al-Abdullah al-Sabah, just nine days into his rule. Yet as Kuwait's ruling emir, he struggled with internal political disputes, the fallout of the 2011 Arab Spring protests, and seesawing crude oil prices that chewed into a national budget, providing cradle-to-grave subsidies. He represents the older generation of Gulf leaders who valued discretion and moderation, and the importance of personal ties amongst fellow monarchs, said Kristen Dewan, a senior resident scholar at the Arab Gulf States Institute in Washington, who studies Kuwait. No question he has suffered from the lack of deference and respect shown by the younger and more brash young princes holding power today. The emir had his appendix removed in 2002, two years after having a pacemaker fitted. In 2007, he underwent urinary tract surgery in the United States.